hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and um, today as you can tell by the, uh, the title of the video it's my match preview for Everton versus Brighton at Goodison Park and um, you know neutral thing last time we met uh, for a bit of a twist in this one as well um, if you watch my match previews you know what it's gonna be so guys you know what to do subscribe for more Thanks for watching and let's go. So the last time we met Everton won 2 0 at Grillison Park. Uh, I think the best thing about this time round it is vice versa. So we got planned down here later in 2019. Um, on the other hand, I think I might have wanted them down here, but you know a bit dipping form away from home. But you know we have to take them on at some point. So. You know, I'll either do it now than a bit later in the year where they could pick up even more. Alright, the last game Everton played, they lost 2-1 to Man United. Um, now, for, for Everton to do that, I was a bit disappointed in Everton. I thought Everton might have won that game quite clearly, um, but obviously it won't, won't to be. Uh, last game Brighton played was a 1-0 over Wolves, um, now all Brighton fans know that. Um, quite good goal by Glenn Murray, his 100th goal for Glenn Murray, congratulations Glenn for reaching that amazing milestone. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, 100 goals, it's not easy to do it in two successful spells for, for Albion. Um, you know, it takes some doing. Um, quite a nice goal, quite a nice set by Bruno. So, you know, he he's already said he was looking for his 100th for the first goal. Um, he wants to get the 100 one out of the way. Um, but anyway, guys, as I said, this is my match preview. So here's my 1 to 11. In goal, it's Matty Ryan. Now, Matty Ryan had an excellent game against Wolves. He's played excellent all season. There's no reason why we should drop him. In right back, I'll go with Bruno. Um, now Bruno, yet again, had an amazing game against Wolves. As I've just mentioned, that set up goal with Glen Murray. Um, you know, take some doing. Um, centre back, uh, in right centre back, I should say, is Shane Duffy. Um, now Shane Duffy. You know, there's another brilliant centre back and I don't see why we should change him up uh, unless he picks an injury up for kick off which then we obviously will have to change him but you know hopefully not F fingers crossed and fingers crossed for Lewis Dunk too. Um, now I've just mentioned him, Lewis Dunk in left centre back. Now the internationals are coming up uh, we've got Cardiff after this game and then we got you know we got the internationals and what I've just said and apparently Lewis Duncan said to Southgate don't call him up now is that a controversial thing to do um, obviously we're looking at Brighton uh, look at the tough season we've got coming up so you know I'm really looking interested to see what the 23 man squad is for the England internationals um, in left back, uh, I'll go with Bong. Uh, you know, he ain't done a lot wrong, but I can't see Bernardo coming in there at all anyway. Um, in left mid, um, Ischiedo. Um Now, Ischiedo, uh yeah, again, had a brilliant game against Wolves. Possibly had one, one chance to get a goal. But, uh, you know, weren't quick enough. Well, he was quick enough, he just couldn't work it out quick enough. Um, so, you know, coming back from injury, um, you know, it's, uh, I'd like to see him get a goal as uh, quick as possible. Um, centre mid, uh, Brown Kyle. Now, yet again, Pop is still injured, as far as I know. Um, 
But Zoom, I'll probably be on the bench, so you can start working out my next percent in the field, I'll tell you in a minute. So, you know, that's why I expect Kaya to be in there. Um, on the right side, I'll go with Dale Stevens. Uh, I think, yeah, again, they both partner well. They've been playing with each other for so many years. So that's why I'll go with uh, Brian Kaya and Dale Stevens. In right midfield, now this is where I'm going to change it up. In right midfield, I'm going to put Anthony Knockhart. Uh, frustration, uh, the Wolves game they didn't get to start. Now it's his time to start and see if he can perform like he always does anyway. But, you know, if he wants to start games, he's got Jack Bash to, to, to contend with now. Um, behind the striker, and obviously I'll show you how I set it up in a minute. Um, for you that are not 100% clear of what I'm talking about. Um, behind the striker, Pascal Gross had a setback. I don't know when he's going to be back. So behind the striker, I'm having a pace behind the striker. I'm not saying much, has not got pace. i just like to see this player have a go at that position. And that is Jackabash. Jackabash had a brilliant game against Wolves. I think that bit behind the striker might suit him a little bit more. Um, the goal against West Ham where he dummied it, I think that could be a few more of them in the wall works if he played behind the striker. Now the last position on the pitch, it goes to the record goal scorer or milestone goal scorer, he's not quite reached the record yet, um, it is Glenn Murray. Um, you know the Guardia didn't get to come on, uh, or Andorra, sorry if I mispronounced his name. Um, but I'm looking forward to you know, going on getting past that 100th goal and just settling in, settling in. Brighton fans, I want to ask you this question in particular. Please respond by comments below or on social media. All my social medias are underneath um, in the description. Um, do you think Glen Murray will beat the all-time record goal scorer? Um, I think it's 124 goals. Um, I think it might be Peter Ward, if I am wrong, then correct me. Um, you know, I'm not quite that old, unfortunately. But anyway, guys, this is my normal match preview. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.